YouTube fam, how y'all doing? TM Nation, how y'all doing? What you're looking at right now are the Mori Pods True Wireless Earbuds by Halu. At the time of the video, these come in at under 35 bucks, but at the same time, they offer you 12 millimeter dynamic drivers, 24 hours of use with the case, and CVC 8.0 for those clear voice calls. I've had my pair for just about a month now and I've tested them extensively. In this video, I'll tell you how they've performed for me so far and I'll also provide you guys with some tests to help you guys make a more informed buying decision. But before we get into that, let's enjoy some tunes and check out the unboxing experience. Taking a look at the case first, the design for me is fine. It does feel sturdy in the hand, so I think it'll adequately protect the earbuds. It's also a good size in my opinion. It's not too large to throw in a normal sized pocket backpack or purse overall for me it gets the job done there isn't too much going on on the outside besides your halo branding on the right side you have your usb type c charging port on the bottom and your indicator light in the front battery life wise with the earbuds you can expect to get about a maximum of six hours on a single charge and as i mentioned earlier you can throw them back into the case a few times for a total usage of 24. So far, I'm averaging about five hours and 31 minutes on a single charge with the earbuds, using them between 75% and 100% of the max volume. Moving on to the design of the earbuds, as you can see, they do have the stems going down the side, but they have a pretty subtle look overall. As you can see, I picked up the blue version, but you do have black, pink and white available as well. If you're looking for earbuds that don't stick out much, these aren't crazy obvious, but if somebody is walking behind you or coming directly towards you, they will be able to see them sticking out, especially with the stems. And comfort wise in the ears, I'd have to say that for me, they feel just okay. They're not the most comfortable earbuds in my ears, simply because they don't have any ear tips or anything of that nature. I can usually wear them for about two hours at a time before I start to get some ear fatigue and discomfort. And it's not because they're overly large or overly heavy. These things only weigh 3.9 grams, but like I said, they don't have any ear tips and I get a similar effect when I wear my AirPods and other in-ear earbuds that do not have ear tips. Also important to note is that these aren't using any active noise canceling technology, so you'll only get passive noise canceling with the design. I did use these for exercise guys and as I expected, once I became sweaty, they started to move around quite a bit and if I didn't reposition them, they would have fallen out. Again, they don't have any ear ridges, any ear hooks, or any type of wing tips, so you don't have much to keep them planted in your ears. So if you're looking to buy these for exercise, Keep that in mind. For the water resistance, these are rated at IPX4, which is not the strongest, but it'll do just fine against splashes of water and sweat. I did do my water test by spraying water all around the earbuds just to see how they would react while being wet. Let's see what happened. <laughs> I have used these with both my iPhone 12 Pro and my Galaxy S21. So far, I have experienced no lag, and the pairing process was super simple. All that you have to do is take the earbuds out of the case. From there, they'll automatically go into pairing mode. Once you've done that, all that you have to do is find the Mori Pods on your device, connect to them, and you're good to go. These are using updated Bluetooth, which is version 5.2, and as I touched on earlier, these also do feature app decks, so everything should come together to to provide you with an ultra low latency experience, you shouldn't have any issues with YouTube or other video apps. Concerning the amount of sound leakage that you'll get with these earbuds, I'd say they're about middle of the road comparing them to other similarly designed earbuds I've tried on the channel. But I did take a sample for you guys with my camera about three or so feet away from myself and the earbuds so that you guys can judge for yourselves. Let's check it out. Thank you. 
As far as the playback controls with these earbuds, they're executed by touch. There are no physical buttons on either earbud. They do work well, the touch pads are responsive, but one thing that I do not like about the playback controls is that you cannot control your volume. You can control your tracks, your calls, and summon your voice assistant, but when it comes to your volume, that's a no-go. So specs and features out of the way, let me touch on how these have performed for me so far, sound quality wise. To my ears, the highs and mids that you get with these earbuds are okay to a little above average until you crank them up over about 75% of the max volume then you're gonna get a significant drop in the clarity to my ears the overall sound is just not that clear above this level and the bass is gonna distort as well but like I said earlier when you keep them below about 75% the sound quality is gonna be more than adequate for most people I can make out most of the detail in my music and they do provide a little bit of bass as well. My main gripe would be that they don't do the best job at sound separation so you kind of have to search sometimes to hear those background instruments and vocals but outside of that they're okay. The bass is certainly not overpowering if anything I would say it's a little bit underwhelming so if you're a bass head keep this in mind. Relative to the call quality these earbuds have two mics on each earbud for a total of four and like I said earlier, they're also rocking CVC 8.0, which is essentially an algorithm that will focus on your voice and try to cancel out some of your ambient noise. I have made a few voice calls using the mics on these earbuds, and so far nobody has complained about how I sounded, but as always, I did take a sample for you guys to judge for yourselves. Let's take a listen. All right, guys, so right now I have the earbuds paired to my iPhone 12 Pro. As you can see, the audio that you're hearing is coming directly from the microphones on the earbuds. Now, I'm not going to do any type of editing to this audio, so this should more or less give you a pretty good idea of how they perform for voice calls. All in all, fam, I think these are an okay pair of true wireless earbuds for the price. I mean, they are under 35 bucks at the time of the video, and you are getting some features that you typically don't see at that price point. But at the same time, if sound quality is the most important feature, these don't quite live up to the other features that you get. Call quality at this price point is respectable. The battery life is also respectable. So if you can deal with the sound quality being just about average to maybe slightly above average, I don't think that these are a bad buy. But you have made it this far in the video, guys. If you haven't already, please drop a like on it for your boy as it definitely helps the channel grow and I appreciate it. Also, if this was your first time here, why don't you consider subscribing as I drop at least one video on content just like this per week but like i always say y'all be safe y'all stay positive and most importantly y'all have a great day i'll catch y'all in the next one but until then it's your boy tech mo and i'm out peace